Hey yo, what is up? The Waffen Trigger is back as a rental in World of Tanks. Now, I made a poll and asked you guys should we bring the Waffen Trigger permanently back into the game? Overwhelming amount of you guys said yes. 75% of you said yes, bring it back permanently. What else have you got to lose? You've already got a bunch of ridiculous tanks already in the game the 279E Chieftains. The Minotauro, the Jaegeru, the Shit Barn, the EBRs, all these ridiculous tanks are already exist in the game. Why not just bring the Waffentrager E100 back? Well, it's back for a limited time as rentals. Uh, most of you guys already know this. If you didn't, uh, you you know you take part in the uh, Waffentrager event and uh, you can win. Uh, you know, a couple of hours or a couple of games or, you know, you can win 5 games, 10 games. Some of you have more than 30 games of rental in this tank. The only problem is when you play with this tank as a rental, um, it is not a premium tank. So, you have to take your German tank destroyer crew from some other tank like the Borsig or some some other tank and retrain it into the Waffentrager that's going to cost you at least a thousand gold because it's 200 gold uh, to retrain your crew and then if you want to retrain your skills another 200 it is a costly affair and then once the event runs out and they, they take back the Waffentrager then you need to retrain your crew back into your Borsig again or whatever you know tank destroyer it was in so that is the downside of playing the waffen trigger e100 as a rental uh you spend if you know if you have a lot of gold uh in your world of tanks account and uh, you don't mind dropping 2000 gold or something like that to retrain your crews and stuff then i guess uh, this is going to be uh, not bad because it is kind of fun to play with this tank when you can clip out your enemies and uh, uh, do huge amount of damage uh, in fact you can do 2450 damage in eight seconds uh, because this is an auto loader uh, it has a five clip potential and uh, most people are playing it with full premium shells which give you 311 uh, penetration because the stock shells, stock AP shells, I think they are only do 246 penetration. So if you want to get the most out of your clip potential, you want to be firing premium shells. This tank is all about hilarious fun. So if you want to have hilarious fun, the way to do it is with full premium shells. You know, money is no object. Just fire away your premium shells and have fun doing it. Now, the game has already been going on for three minutes and our friend here 4.6k damage already done this is going to be an epic game it is going to be the highest uh, damage game that I have seen so far uh, so enjoy it while you can uh, again this is a limited time tank with a 0.28 dispersion this gun is super accurate uh, but the moving dispersion is absolutely horrendous so you can't shoot on the move you need to be kind of stationary um, if your hull is stationary and you're just rotating the turret uh, the accuracy isn't that bad you can still snipe the aim time is only 1.44 seconds and imagine that 1.44 seconds with 0.28 accuracy uh, you actually don't really need a lot of um, you know, gun performance uh, equipment in the Waffentrager, um, a lot of people are running turbo to increase the mobility of this tank uh, to make it a little bit faster. Uh, a lot of people are running hardening on this tank to make it perform a little bit better, uh, survive a little bit better. I mean, uh, not so easy to get yourself artillery killed or artillery splashed if you run the hardening. And uh, the last piece of equipment, I think if you can run some kind of um, vertical stabilizer I think uh, that is the most popular thing uh, vertical stabilizer as in IRM because this thing does not take vertical stabilizers so uh, some people run enhanced gun laying drive as well if you want to I suppose it's uh, no harm uh, but improved rotation mechanics is going to help with your uh, vertical stabilization um, 
basically it is you know half a vertical stabilizer you can say you still not recommended to shoot on the move of course but it does make your uh, dispersion slightly smaller to begin with uh, therefore in, you know reducing your time to fully aim so i think a vertical uh, i mean uh, improved rotation mechanics is the way to go uh, i see most of the pros doing this uh, the improved rotation mechanics the turbo and the hardening uh, some people also run improved aiming instead of hardening uh, because they just want to maximize their accuracy i suppose uh, it is not wrong uh, you can play with whatever equipment you feel is workable for you um, five and a half minutes in 7.3k damage this tank reloads in about 50 plus 55.6 seconds uh, it takes a long time to reload um, but after 55.6 seconds you are good to go uh, in terms of clipping out uh, your you know potential customers again so like i was saying i put a vote out there and over 200 plus people voted and 75 percent said yes bring this tank back permanently uh this tank should be in the game uh and you know if you ask this question to world of tanks players two years ago three years ago they would say no they want this tank out permanently out never coming back but to be honest with you in 2022 we have seen a lot of ridiculous tanks introduced in the game that basically makes this game highly imbalanced and ebr 105 you know in the hands of a good player makes this game completely skewed uh, a Minotaro in a good hands or in a in a new noob with you know lucky positioning uh, or um, you know a dedicated veteran in a 279e is going to completely dominate the game with those kind of tanks and uh, I think a Waffentrager E100 is going to fit into the game real well because even a new player inexperienced player knows how to fire five shells and do 2450 damage in eight seconds and you know this tank could possibly be a very good balancer a counter balancer a balance to the 279e a balance to the chieftain p95 tier 10 you know this tank could demolish a 279e or a chieftain very easily it could demolish a minotaro very quickly look at him finish off the yeguru just like this in just four shells and uh, just like that he's done 10,800 damage and uh, what an amazing tank to have fun with and if you are not a uh, professional player or if you're not a really experienced player you're still going to be able to clip someone for 2000 3000 damage every game uh, if you're fortunate enough but again this tank is not for the faint of heart it, you, you're not going to get you know 7000 10000 damage every game this tank remember is a huge big ass tank it has absolutely zero camo actually it has 0.40 camo that is less than one percent camo so a lot of times when you get spotted you're just gonna get vaporized and sent back to the garage so this is it the highest game that i've seen so far 11.4k damage um what an amazing game negative credits there because he's firing full premium shells but yes 75 percent of you say this tank should be in the game permanently now i hope wargaming does it thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video bye, -bye.